Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. What I am seeing is um, somebody here wants a, a new opportunity. Um, but it could be, uh, what I'm seeing is, what they want is to be able to, uh, an opportunity to uh, get uh, clarity or answers to some, some fears they may have had, uh, some suspicions they may have had when it came to uh, this relationship. Um, or the healing of a relationship. What they want is to see clear, uh, to kind of have all the pieces in place, have all the answers they need. And it's like they're wishing for a way uh, to get these answers. They don't have them right now because she is also about suddenly seeing a way. Okay, so we're going to have to rewind a little bit. Let's have a look at the issue. The issue is this. There's a card of rebellion here. So this person clearly uh, was uh, resistant to whatever was being offered, I feel, because with justice here, they most likely felt it was unfair. With the Nine of Shields here, they would have felt an unseen threat. So in other words, they didn't have proof. It's something they were feeling, but it's very possible with the Eight and Nine of Swords here, uh, it came from previous experiences that made them feel that way because this may have been similar to something they experienced in the past. Okay, now, whatever that was, uh, they may have made a very quick, sudden, rash decision, uh, rebelling, okay, because of... Uh, Again, an unseen threat, something they uh, perceived, uh, something born of fear, uh, a vision of the future um, or of the where the a future where this decision would have brought them into the future. They had um, they became very afraid, and it. It was a pattern for this person, or is a pattern uh, for this person that they they have these they have these fears. Uh, again, I feel like they've been carrying them a long time. So, and it's fears about rebuilding or restoring uh, a relationship. I feel that what they did was uh, they because of their fears, they were seeing things that weren't there. Okay. Uh, they became very afraid. Um, and so I feel like there was um, a sudden decision to make, to take a stand or make a power play. Okay. And then pull back behind the walls where they felt safe. So they threw something out there hoping for uh, a specific result. So it's like, well, I'm going to do this and then see if this happens. So there was a, some type of strategy here behind a very rash decision they took that was born of previous experiences. In short, basically that's what it is. They rebelled. So... 
but I feel like um, new information has come to this person. Um, it could be that they're hoping for a lucky break uh, and they are given that or shown uh, a way. <clears throat> um, they want to talk. They may want to explain. There's a decision that lays on their lap. I feel like they're studying it. And I feel like this is this past decision uh, that they took. I feel like it, it's, it's like recognition of a rash decision uh, because maybe things were not as they appear. So, <clears throat> so it's like they do this and then they get this bad feeling that, well, maybe I misunderstood you know and so it's like how do I get out of this now I'm kind of made a mess of things I may have misunderstood something you know I don't even know what's true or what's false actually in this moment um, so what they do is they go on a hunt for information or they want to hunt for this information. They want these answers. It's what they're wishing for. Yeah, see they're in the hanged man energy here. Seeing something in a new way. Um, something that could possibly change the situation or get them out of it they're shown some type of information here or are given information by with the fate card here by uh something external or the divine themselves even some divine uh inspiration something something unexpected happens to this person when uh, with with regards to this situation that will change things that can alter their life and yours in a huge way and so um They, from their fear, they made a power play trying to, uh, because fear uh, makes us feel powerless, you know. So from uh, that, um, they took a rash decision in order to try to control a situation and to get a specific outcome. But it didn't, it didn't go that way. It didn't turn out that way. And now they don't know how to get out of it until something happens. Something quite unexpected is about to happen. See, this could be some type of light bulb moment. <gasps> Maybe, you know, like they could be looking back and, and or they could receive some information um, from some external source. And it's like, oh, my God. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe I've made a huge mistake this opens the door for this new beginning so there's um, you have this person wanting to change things maybe now they believe that it's possible that they can they may have been given a sign, you see, with the with the wish card here. They may have been given a sign. They may have been given or are given an opportunity to uh, go f after what they've been wishing for, what they've been praying for to the divine. The divine may answer the prayer and open the door, but this person must take the action to walk through it. That's the thing. You know, 
have they really learned their lesson here in all of this, in what happened? Here I see that they're thinking, they're looking at the details and thinking of sending off a message, but they'll start writing and then they erase it. Okay, that's not good enough. No, I'll, I'll write this instead, you know, and they keep erasing. They may feel still somewhat frustrated. Um, we see that there could be, this, this can be a love letter, and you see that's what this is up here, a love letter expressing one's emotions, uh, wanting this new beginning, but yet in a way, uh, in order to take action, they feel like they're missing information. In order to take control, in order to proceed, they're missing information. Or it could be that they're still afraid, or, or maybe they're unable to um, to gain control over their emotions in order to proceed because of these uh, some type of unseen threat because and this could be even just not knowing how you feel you know there was an argument clearly they didn't get what they wanted to get from it but there is a renewed interest in wanting this relationship in wanting to make uh, to have this meeting or to come to an agreement of some kind here to heal the relationship preparing see they're preparing to have this conversation they could be preparing to send this message they start writing it and then they back out or they just erase it um, because in the end they it's like I don't know what to say I don't know how to explain this action I did in the past and maybe I'm still a little bit afraid, you know. But this is about making this agreement and coming to this agreement. Um, taking back one's power. Because right now, uh, their fears are controlling all of their movements. They're controlling their thoughts and their emotions. This person does not have control of their thoughts and, and or emotions at this point. Their fears are in control but uh, they need to know this uh, so hopefully they're watching whether this is you or them um, but they are shown a way there is a sign and maybe this is that sign for someone to stop and and make note of uh, uh, where these fears are coming from what brought you up to this moment, you know? And how do you wish to proceed from here? Who's writing this story? You know? How do you want this to end and who do you want to uh, be the hero? So there, there looks like there is a light bulb moment. Will they take action on it? There is an opportunity for a new beginning, um, but um, there needs to be some grounding here. Okay, and there's going to be a need to remain focused. Now, remember what I said that the divine will open the door, but it's up to the person to walk through. Okay, so this could possibly happen um, from now until the end of September. If it doesn't happen in that time period, the window is going to close. It will reopen again, though, okay, in March of 2023 for, again, a short period of time. So if it doesn't happen here, it has another opportunity here to happen in the spring. All of this depends on where, whether or not this person is ready, whether or not they ask themselves those very difficult questions. 
and whether or not they recognize what is the root issue here, the real root issue. Are they ready to see the truth, to be honest with themselves about their issues, about this situation, about what has been controlling them, their, their thoughts, their emotions, and thus their actions are born of those, you know. So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.